how do you meet a stranger that you've never met in your life and turn them into Vogue covers and show them that they are works of art. Oh my god, wow. If you're new here, my name is David Saw. I'm a professional photographer, content creator, and educator. And I believe that every single human being deserves to see how beautiful and unique they are. And for you watching at home today as well, I believe you are inherently beautiful. Whether you believe that or not, I at least hope for this duration of the video and however long you're watching that I can lend you that belief that I have of you to you. So you'll notice throughout this video, as I photograph three lovely USC students I've never met before, I go through four distinct different processes to make sure I can get as close as possible to achieving my goal of helping them see a beautiful photo of themselves. So those four things are first, how do I establish connection and trust? Number two, what questions do I ask to find out more about who they are, how they perceive themselves, how they want to be perceived, so how do they want to change that perception, and also, what is their comfort levels in front of the camera? Number three, how do I put all of that information in a moment's time to create a vision? What kind of framing do I want? What kind of photo do I want? What kind of poses do I want to try with them? And number four, how do I take that vision and guide these strangers and students when they don't know the vision that I have? And on top of that, how do I make pivots throughout the whole process? Because just because I have a vision doesn't mean it's correct. So let's take a look at our first lovely grad student. But before we do that, let's take a moment for me to share with you about our sponsors, HP and Intel. So HP and Intel sent me their HP MV X360 AI laptop with AI accelerating Intel Core Ultra processor. Honestly, this laptop has been perfect for me as a freelancer in saving me time and helping me balance my work and personal life. See, as a photographer that runs a photography studio and tea house in LA while having to create content, there's a variety of tasks that I need to do. Some simple as checking my emails and creating content on the go. It's a very important week for me, anniversary week with my partner. Our first date was in Malibu, so I thought how sweet would it be if we could have a sunset dinner back where it all started. So I put the HP Envy X360 AI laptop to the test. I typed in, find a romantic, highly rated restaurant in Malibu with a sunset view. Instantly, I received a detailed list with comprehensive reviews and insights. Instead of reading through countless reviews, the HP Envy X360 AI laptop quickly provided personalized results, making it super easy for me to make my decision. Something else I'm working on in my work life is producing my very own online posing course. And as we go into the video production part of it, I wanted to provide my students more than just the videos, I want to provide them an outline to go along with it. And since I already have a video outline in the full transcript, I wanted to see how the accelerated AI could draft a summary outline, and I was impressed. The biggest struggle for me is getting started, so to be able to get a summary with just a few clicks of a button is pretty amazing. So if you're creative like me who is ambitious and loves running a business, AI enhances your workflow. Now let's get back to the video. Nice hey! To meet you. What was your name? Shomik. Shomik. Call me Shom. Shom. Beautiful attire. Tell me a little bit more. Master's student, yeah. studying AI, just graduated May 10th. Congratulations! And then this attire, tell me more about that too. Ethnic Indian wear, but a little stylized. Yeah, That's what all it is. so it's a little bit more modernized. Yes. It looks good on you. The idea is that we're gonna go for a little, little bit of a Vogue magazine cover kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you got all the cheery ones with your friends. Yeah. And today we're gonna see how we can channel a bit more of that magazine cover. Does anything come to mind for you when it comes to Vogue, Vanity Fair? All I've seen in Vogue covers is people that give you a mean look and still look pretty. <laughs> give, give a mean look over here. Ooh! <laughs> Okay, okay, so we'll have no problems giving mean looks today uh -huh. then. What does Shom in photos look like? Since I'm tall, I kind of look imposing on these photos. Ah. I'd like to look more friendly. More friendly? Yeah. Okay, so no mean vogue then. That works too. That works too. <laughs> um, in, your, in your general photos mm -hmm. and your perception of you in photos, mm -hmm. Is it more of a, you said imposing, but is it also a little bit more goofy? Is it more casual? Is it more- Extremely goofy. Ext extremely goofy. What are some sides that you do want to see for yourself? 
the mean leader kind of thing, the, the ah, dictator vibe. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that gives me a good idea. That gives me a good idea. How sweet is Shaom? He definitely gave me big friendly giant kind of vibes. I think there were definitely a few things instantly that I was so curious about that I wanted to find out and ask about. First thing being the outfit. I know at first when I asked Shaom about Tommy more about this and the attire he first heard the question as oh like let me tell him about um, what I'm graduating with and then you can also see how I just kind of went back and doubled down on the question because yeah it was really cool it was it felt very traditional but also modern at the same time but again I'm not assuming so I wanted to find out about the attire and then two, I also really wanted to find out about how Shaom really is in front of the camera on a daily basis. I think especially for guys, I just always want to double check because this will inform me if I should pose them like this. Or maybe I need to be a little bit more traditional and go for something like this, right? And I just feel like I mean, this can be a whole different video in and of itself. I talk about how for me as well, just growing up with so much traditional masculine views where I felt, I don't know about you, whether you're a guy or you grew up around other brothers and guys who felt like they can't like get out of that or it feels weird, right? People say, oh, it looks sus. Um, just by doing a little different pose or by wearing different clothes right and i'm just very aware of that especially uh, because that's been my journey so just for other guys i want to just double check just a little bit more with them of what are they really comfortable with in terms of their masculinity do they want to challenge that just a little bit is something i always want to double check and then finally i was very curious about what he wanted in these photos what do you want we all have goals in life and Shalom has a very ambitious one going into tech and AI and we all want to be seen and heard in all our deepest goals and desires. So it's really important for me to ask them how do they want to be captured in these photos? And I want to highlight that when he first answered this question of, oh yeah, usually because I'm tall, I feel like I'm imposing on people. So I kind of want to look happy and jolly. And if I stopped right there, the photo shoot would have been very different. It would have been happy smiles. Maybe we have our hand up in the air with the college building behind us, which none of those are bad poses at all. It is what he would have wanted. And I probably would have guided him towards those type of poses and photos. But I wanted to ask just a little bit more. And somehow we went from that all the way to a, uh, a world leader, like a dictator. And as we also watch these lovely human beings, do know that they're being vulnerable and sharing with us who they want to be. And I also hope that you can practice at home of not being judgmental um, and sort of practice that same muscle of taking the assumptions that we have of who these people look like and putting it into a box for a second and saying, okay, let's, how can we connect as a human being and create this little space and bubble for them where they can truly be their most genuine selves, right? So even when we hear things like Shalom wanting to be this dictator and all this, maybe it might be jarring. We're like, oh, whoa, why does he, maybe we think dictators are bad. <laughs> and then we're like, why does he want that? Is he a terrible human being? I'm sure there's reasons, right? Maybe he grew up again as this tall being and he wants to be a gentle guy. He wants to be a kind guy, which he is. But maybe in the photos he grew up never being perceived as the real kind human being he is because of this height he has, right? So let's create this space that supports Shalom and, and every other human being that we get to see in this video. Can we go back around towards your bag and maybe we'll use the seating area here? So let me walk you through a quick crash course. I'm gonna be your mirror when I help you pose. So let's bring our hands down over here. And since I'm your mirror, I'm gonna have you wave with me here. Perfect, wave with me here. Beautiful, and bring it back down. Slowly bring this arm up with me, bring the hand up and slowly bring it down. Nice, all the way. Take a deep breath through the nose for me. And out through the mouth. I'm gonna have you go for a wider stance. Can we try hands in the pocket? Do we got pockets here? You can leave the thumb out. Go back just a little bit on the stance. And then notice where your balance is. It's very centered right now. Can you try shifting your balance to this foot, this side over here? Almost like we're waiting for a bus. Try giving a little tap here. We're like, oh my gosh, what's taking so long? Yeah, there you go. And then shift to the other side real quick. 
That's good. And that's the crash course of everything we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna be posing with you. Every pose you do, I'm gonna do. And if there's ever a moment you're like, what do I look like right now? You can just see me. All right, Sean, let's see. Let me have you just take a seat right over here for me in any variation of a seat you'd like. If you're watching me for the first time, you might be wondering, what is going on here? Is he guiding Sean into some yoga practice? <laughs> So this is a practice that I do with every single human being, if time allows, that I do with every single human being before I even pick up my camera. So I do this because this is literally the easiest way that you can guide any other human being to pose. Because think about it, I say, all right, pick up your right hand. This is my right hand, but your right hand is going to be on the other side. And then I get confused because it doesn't help me be precise with my vision and guiding and communicating, right? So I say, hey, we see this hand, can you just mirror me? and we're mirroring. And let's even try this at home. Let's try a little pose with me. If you're sitting at a table, this hand, place it on here. This hand, place it on top of this hand over here. Be sure that you can shift your weight from placing your weight on the elbow over here to this elbow over here. Let's lean your weight just a bit more over here. Go for a little lean. And there you go. And that's how I guide every single human being. And maybe if you tried it, you're like, oh, this feels a little foreign, but at least I've taken out all the thinking that you're doing of what do I do with my hands, David, to hopefully helping you feel like I'm here to guide you along every single step and beat. Let's say we're having a conversation. So maybe I'll have you turn around just a little bit more towards me, just a touch. Can I see a simple like leg crossover? I'm gonna have you actually slightly rotate towards me. The arm's gonna move back just a little bit and I'm gonna have you lean slightly towards me this way. Almost like we're having a, we're having a conversation down here. So you kind of have to like lean in to talk to me, right? Uh -huh. Slightly. This is a weird one. I'm gonna have you bring your chin out slightly towards me. Yes. This time, this hand wiggle with me. Yep. Can we bring that up to the elbow? Can you try a little lean towards that? Just as ever so slight, yes. Just the eyes to my toes to begin with. Yes. I'm gonna have you this time chin up just a little bit, almost like we're basking in the sun. I'm gonna have you close your eyes. You're basking in the sun, relaxing at the lips, yes. And then just the eyes to me here from there. Let me try this first. Where are we? I wanna incorporate what you had earlier on. So let's go for a little touch right over here. We've been showing off this side a lot. So let me go nose around this way. And then just the eyes to me. Yeah, chin up just a touch. Chin up again. I see me from there. Yeah. And scene. Good job. Thank How you. was that? Nice. Did that feel good? Yeah. A little bit better than just kind of having to pose by yourself? Yes, I did not know the basics of a lean. But the thing is, you did that yourself earlier on. I'm just kind of taking inspo from how you already move. I think it's the expectation that we have to be a certain way in front of the camera that makes us think that we don't know how to pose, that makes us think we're awkward. But if I watch you move, you're already very fluent in how you talk with your body. I loved photographing Sean. We actually ended up going to multiple places to shoot a little bit more and I'll put some photos up here and there. But I loved starting out at the couch and you might be wondering why did David choose the couch versus the buildings around USC. Why didn't he go to a fountain? Why didn't he lean on a wall? I love couches and chairs because it allows us to find comfort within our body immediately, right? If we're standing with our two feet, we might be saying, oh my gosh, what do I do with my hands? We have to rely on the pose more than when we're actually sitting down because when we're sitting down, I can relax over here, right? I can relax over here. So if you're ever feeling nervous for yourself when you're posing, look for things like a couch or a table that you can lean on and it will immediately help you find a pose that is natural to you. As we were shooting, Sham loved these photos and he loved the whole Vogue kind of vibe, but he also communicated that, hmm, as much as I love these and these are new sides of me and I'm embracing them, I also want to do something a little bit more jolly, like he mentioned earlier on. So I realized afterwards that he really wanted to show the dichotomy, right? He wanted to show both sides, the duality of how he wants to be seen. So here's also more photos of him having fun and having his arms up. But let's move on to our second stranger and graduate, Tim. I'm your mirror, so can you wave with this hand? And can you wave with this hand? Perfect. And so I'll turn around just a little bit this way. Let's turn around even more. And then just the nose around and eyes to the cloth on the ground. Yep. 
Maybe this hat, we can just kind of have it here. Nose around towards the towel over there and the eyes on the towel too. Chin up just a little bit, feeling powerful. Yes, very nice, Tim. And this time, nose around a little bit more towards me and eyes to me. I'm gonna have you just rotate just a little bit towards me. There you go, eyes to me again. Yes, chin up just a little bit. Woo, very nice, Tim. Nice, and scene. Yeah. Here, good look. Wow, so cool, yeah. You look really like powerful. Yeah, really very strong. powerful, like I'm the, like the king of USC. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Tim, we'll do this together. So you pick any other spot so we can be creative together. Okay. So another handsome fellow graduate, Tim over here. For Tim, I didn't have so much time to have those deeper conversations and that's totally fine. Like I mentioned, the whole four step process is very fluid and it can be dynamic, right? For Tim, he had his parents around and I didn't want to uh, take too much time. I wanted to be mindful of them as they were celebrating this beautiful graduation day with Tim. Tim, I think what I want to do, maybe that's like a nice lean here. Can you try that for me? Sure, oh, that's cool. Tim, this time I'm going to have you go for a nice, even more of a lean. Like you're really relaxed onto it. And then nose around. Yep, same thing. Nice. This hand, can it go up here? Yep, and then nice little lean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a cool bracelet there. Nice. And then just the eyes to me, Tim, over here. And now bring that hand just down. Boom. This time we're gonna be a little bit less GQ. We're gonna go for a little giggle here too. You're happy you're graduating, right? <laughs> there we go. Mom wants to see this one. <laughs> this one's for mom. Nice. And scene. Nice, good job. But let me just have you right over here. Sure. And then maybe have you look over that way again. Okay. This might actually be really cool, Tim. Uh, let's go for that Vogue look again, GQ. Okay, sure. That looks good, don't move. Nice. This is what you look like. Wow, so cool. Wow. <laughs> so cool. That's sick, huh? Yes. All right, so dude. Cool. Congratulations yeah. Yeah, thank again. You. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And there's two final comments I want to make about this little interaction and this mini photo shoot with Tim is one, you'll notice that you don't have to do anything extravagant for a pose. I, I don't want this idea that a pose has to be big and unique and creative every single time and we have to do something with our hands sometimes like the last few shots that you saw can be very simple it can be very stoic where your body is just turned and you're looking to the side and you're facing the sun and it's almost like this times magazine kind of shot right also take note of how i guide tim and you must have seen with Sham as well, but for me, I always like to create a steady beat because it gives you something to fixate on every single time. It takes your brain from the overthinking brain of, oh my gosh, how do I look like? What should I be doing with my hands? Instead, it puts you into the brain and mindset of, oh, I, let me just listen to the instructions and guidance and just follow along and see how I feel through them. Because we all know how to follow along and take guidance, right? That helps kick that overthinking brain outside and the subconscious brain that we tend to have in front of the camera. So we did this earlier on, right? When we were even doing that follow along at home kind of uh, practice, it's the same thing of, hey, let's take this hand, put it on the table in front of us. Take the other hand, lean it in front. That's amazing. Do you feel the shift in your weight? Nice. Go for a little lean, look away, look at the camera, look down. And I'm always creating that beat and I'm always saying something on that beat, whether it's the directions and guidance or I might be hyping you up saying damn you look good and let's bring that chin around so I'm mixing those things in and take note of that just a little bit more when we watch our final graduate Tanvi. Tanvi what are photos like to you? Do you mm. like being photographed? Do you get shy? Are you? I would say I am a little shy. <laughs> yeah. At first, but when you when you start telling me, oh, this is nice, this is nice, I'm like. Ah. Then you're like, oh yes, <laughs> yes, queen. Okay, okay. So a little bit shy at first, but you can definitely get into it yeah. if you feel it, right? How are you normally like in photos? Are there parts of you that you want to bring out a bit more of today? I would say confidence. When when someone sees the photo, someone would be like, wow. Mm. 
that someone is going to be you. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> it's for you. Of course, of course. I'm a <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, so confident, you want that wow factor. Yeah. You're in a beautiful dress today. Thank you. Are there parts of you that you want to show off? This. Tattoo? And this. Okay. The two tattoos. Yeah. Beautiful. So I had a lovely conversation with Tambi. She was there with her bestie and her roommates. And one of the first few questions I asked was to, again, establish for me what it's like for Tambi in front of the camera. Is she a, a natural, just thriving in the spotlight? Or as she said, is she a little bit more shy? Then the follow-up question is, okay, what do we want to change about that? If we do want to change something, is there, how do you want to be seen? And she said, uh, I want to be confident. And this is where I don't stop because one, yes, I want to help her feel seen and heard. So I will validate that of, yeah, of course, yes, let's look confident. But I don't have any information other than confidence and confidence looks different to you and to me. Confidence to me can be, yeah, me doing all these big poses. But confidence to you can be like Tim of, let me just take a look to the side and I like the stoicness, I like the leadership in that. So I don't stop my questions there. I don't stop the conversation there. I asked her, okay, you have a dress on, let's talk about what do you want to show off? Because when we get to show off what we want to show off, what we're proud of, maybe we're in the dress, we can show off the legs, the booty, the shoulders, the decolletage, whatever it is, when we show that off, it brings out our confidence. Let's go for that nice little lean again. Let's play around with our shoulder. Let's go this way. Let's start with this one. Let's go head tilt this way and then nose up this way. Beautiful. And then we're gonna close our eyes for a second. Beautiful. Chin up just a bit more again. Yes, queen. And, and then this time connect your chin towards that shoulder and then nose up over there. You're basking in the sun. Yes. Woo. This hand up. There you go. We can go for our hair or the necklace too. Oh, let's do that one. I'm gonna have you feel the pearl, see what it feels like. I'm gonna have you move around, but we're gonna keep our chin up this way okay. towards the sun. Yes. Keep feeling through. Yes. Love these. And can we try something? Can we try a little nose around here and then whip it? Okay. <laughs> whip your hair whoop, this way. Can we try that? Nice! Okay. One more time? Very good! Okay, so we're gonna go here and then end up right over here. Okay. Yeah? Hold on, on my count. Yeah. Three, two, one. Beautiful, hold on. Let's do that one more time. Same thing, we're gonna whip it really fast, yeah. right? Okay, three, two, one. Nice, one more time. Three, two, one. Oh my god, wow. Yeah. Wow. How do you feel in these? What do you see? I feel like a queen, not a princess. Yes. <laughs> you say queen and not a princess? No, queen or a princess. Queen or queen <laughs> and princess. Yes, for both of them. If you see like a overarching like balcony, it, it kind of, my vision for that is always like as if you're in Paris overlooking and outside like a, like a princess. It's always a, a beautiful vision. So when you, whenever you do see a ledge, go for that. But now we're in the fountain. I'm, I'm kind of seeing the video over here, almost like I'm doing a uh, YouTuber react kind of situation. But we moved over to the fountain and before we even started shooting, in this case, I went over to the fountain and tried posing myself because I saw the vision. I mean, you see a fountain, of course you want to photograph in front of it, but I had a hard time figuring out what kind of pose might look good. And whenever I have a stump like that or a hurdle like that, I go and feel the pose for myself. I go feel the scenario. So I'm gonna go in front of the fountain and say, okay, how do I feel in front of this fountain? What kind of pose would feel good? And then after I confirm and validate that for myself, I said, hmm, I can see myself feeling confident in this. Not that it will 100% be for Tom V, but I said, let me try it and confirm it for myself. So then you see me going to the fountain and then posing Tan V. And even through here, you see me bringing in my uh, camera luggage here so that I can mirror her. 
right? As I told you earlier on, I mirror to guide people, but I can't, how do I do that if I don't also have the fountain behind me? I do my best by bringing in a little seat and trying to guide her through that because I was having a little bit difficult of a time guiding her through just, okay, try this in the air. Instead, I did the whole thing with her, right? And for Tom V, we had a little bit more time, so we did one last location with her and her bestie. We went to this beautiful columns of pillars, and oh my goodness, we had so much fun. And I'll just kind of let you watch through this, because this is where once we've established all those four things of trust and building confidence in how we guide and communicate, and I understand even more of what makes Tan V feel beautiful and heard, then we're just off to the races. We're just having fun. Creativity is firing off left and right, and we get to this beautiful tango together, and you get to notice that. Uh, the only note I'll leave you with as I let you just kind of cruise and watch the interaction and the photo shoot is to note that I will always seek for the light. And you'll notice that, especially at the end of the video, I will always ask her to bring her nose around to the light. Chase the light and either be fully in the light or be away from the light. Never just kind of be on the fence, which is also just same in life. Don't be on the fence. Pick a spot. Make a quick decision. Make an informed decision. But anyway, uh, <laughs> giving life lessons out here. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video and I'll catch you at the very end. How did I do this earlier on? Can we try that? Yes. So this hand over here. Bring it up. And bring this elbow. From out, all the way in. Can you go in a bit more? There you go, yes. Nose around again. Love. Stay there. You're just breathing in the campus. Yes. Imagine back behind you, there's a string pulling that elbow back just a little bit more. There you go. Let me have you actually go through that one more time, that same motion. Yes. Beautiful, girl. Nancy. You know what we can actually also do? Do one of these. Yeah, and that we can show off your tattoo as well. Yeah, that's good. Let's have both our hands on the sides. Yeah, can I have you really get comfortable? There you go, yeah. Ooh, I kind of like this as well. Yeah, yeah, okay, stay right there. Okay, beautiful. Yes. This, the arm that's closer to me, can you give it a little bend? Yeah. Oh, yes. Don't move, don't move. I'm just gonna have you lean back just a little bit. Yep, and then bring your nose around towards me. And then lean, lean back a little bit more. Closing your eyes. Dang! Hey, don't move, don't move. Is it possible to take either hand and go at the hair? Let me see both. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, you. okay, first one. I love that beautiful shape that we're, that frame that we're creating already. I know I'm doing it the opposite way, but yep, up here. I want it to make sense. Right, so we don't want just floating in the hair. So we can either kind of be playing with the hair, we can just kind of have it here. We can also be dramatic with it too. Yeah. So let's start with playing with the hair first. Almost like you're kind of fixing it and then chin up, closing your eyes. Yes, queen. Stay there. Try to bring your nose around to me a little bit more. Yes. Can you rotate your whole body just a little bit more towards me? Yes, queen. A little bit more rotate towards me again. You got this, Ami. You're doing great. Chin up a bit more again. And scene. <gasps> amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm glad you made it through all of the video. If you did, love you all. If you didn't, it's fine. You wouldn't hear me telling you that. I'm sending you lots of love, but that's totally fine. I'm still sending you lots of love. But let's give it up to Sham, Tim, and Tan V. Again, it's lots of vulnerability. If you want to be seen and heard in the true person that you are and want to be, you have to be vulnerable to do that. You have to feel okay with 
the world accepting you for who you want to be and who you are. And right now it's in the literal sense because these guys are being shown to all of you watching at home. So let's learn to celebrate every single human being as I also would love to celebrate you. And whenever you're in LA, I would love to also have a chance to photograph you. So hopefully, maybe you get to come out to one of these meetups. When I post on Instagram saying, I'm doing a free giveaway photo shoot in the streets of LA, then come out, right? Come out, we'll have a lovely time. Anyway, if you haven't yet, subscribe, leave me a comment. Do you want to see more of these? Do you want more posing breakdowns? Let me know and I will see you soon.